Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're doing bacon today. We're gonna do it from start to finish, but we're doing hot smoked bacon. Uh, let's just dive in and uh, get started. Here we go. Beautiful, fresh Ontario pork belly. This has the rind on. We're gonna take that off because uh, we don't want that on for this. And uh, just trim it up to make it look nice. I know, the cutting board's not big enough, but oh well. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna run our hands on it, feel for any cartilage, uh, bone fragments, uh, look for glands, things like that. Take off any excess fat or something that we don't like. But we're keeping all this trim because that makes great meat for sausage making. See, because your ribs are right here, and they sometimes will leave little bones on pretty good. Sometimes in the corners, no. But I am going to trim it down a little bit just because my vacuum bags aren't big enough and I want it to be able to fit in. Now, taking the rind off, it's not hard to do, but you want to take your time, a nice sharp knife and Get it underneath the rind, but always keep the knife pointing up. So if you do cut, you cut into the rind and not down into the meat. So just take your time. And there again, yeah, see I slipped and I went through the rind, but that's okay. Okay, got all that off. It was a very lean belly actually, and uh, kind of slipped there. What we're gonna do, I just don't like the ends. I'm gonna just straighten these off. If you can see that, that looks really good. And just anything hanging off, I'm gonna just take off. Oh, looks good. Transfer it there. And what we're gonna do now, is weigh it and then we can weigh out the salt based on the weight of the belly. The belly is at 3.925 kilos and we're gonna use 2% pickling salt or in Canada we cannot buy the cure separate. We have to, as an individual, we have to buy it pre-mixed and uh, I'm using 2% which has the proper amount of cure in there for that. So. I'm gonna need 80 grams of salt. We're gonna just weigh that out and then get it on there. And uh, have your trusty food diary handy because you record everything and uh, know what you've done. So get yourself a good little scale. Put the container on, tear that. So what that does is bring it back to zero. And uh, let's weigh this stuff out. So here we go. Just try and get it over the whole thing. Try and get the ends, the sides, the best you can. And what I like to do is put this in a vacuum bag, pull vacuum, because that way the salt will make sure to distribute all the way around the item you're uh, curing. Uh, it's gonna open up those pores and let the salt go in just that much better. So what I could right, do right now is just leave it like this, wrap it, throw it in the fridge, leave it for my seven to 10 days, uh, keep checking it, flipping it, but I like to, the, in the vacuum bag, it contains that mess. Uh, it's just much easier to handle. Try and keep the end as clean as you can. So just roll the bag back a bit. There we go, in there nicely. I'm going to just 
Because this way of doing it, when you weigh out the salt, you know you're gonna have a very consistent product. It's not gonna be too salty. But that's why you wanna get it all in there as well, just to be sure. Okay, there we go. Nicely vacuum packed, beautiful. And uh, to the fridge. And one pro tip, take a Sharpie and write the date on the bag. That way you know for sure when you did it and you didn't lose track. Just, just do that. Welcome back everybody. Uh, we are nine days later. The belly looks great. It's really firm. So for me, I know it's uh, cured. Uh, all we're gonna do now is open it up, rinse it off, dry it off, and then to the smoker. The smoker is going already, it's up 250. And uh, let's get this bad boy in there. So one thing I always do, take a smell. It smells good, it's got that fermented cured smell, which is what I want. If you have a really bad off smell, you haven't done something right, but this smells good. And now we're just going to rinse off any excess salt. And I know normally I don't pat my meat off, but this needs to be dry. Well, as dry as possible. And there again, there's a whole bunch of different theories with this. There's a lot of people that say you need to take this out like a day ahead, leave it open in the fridge so it dries out. I'm gonna do an experiment on that in the future, but being it's hot smoked, it's not as critical that is more critical when you are actually doing cold smoking because the temperature stays so low. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got all that done. Uh, it looks fantastic. Uh, so now, with this cured for the nine days, this is at the same point of time where I would normally take this, throw it in the smoker to cold smoke it. So up until this point, everything is done the same, but you can go watch the cold smoking video if you want uh, for the whole thing there. But right now, the smoker is up to temperature and uh, let's get out there and throw it in. And realistically, it's not gonna take too long. We're gonna bring it up to like 150, 160 to an internal and then pull it off, let it cool down and then taste it. Let's get this happening. Ugh. You never get used to that blast of smoke. Anyways, here we go. We're gonna throw the belly. I need more hands. Not quite in the hot zone. I don't want it totally blasted. We're gonna leave it like that. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say, I'm not putting any rub on this. I'm keeping this 100% just natural. It's got plenty of salt in there from the, the curing. And uh, we can play with flavors after, but now strictly 100% bacon. Welcome back outside everybody. And it's been an hour and a half. I'm curious and we're gonna look and take the temperature. Woo. It's looking good. But uh, let's take the temperature. We're at like 145, we're almost there. I'm gonna hit the thicker part. Nope, 139. Okay, we are done. It's inside, it looks beautiful. Uh, that was two hours and like 40 minutes. And 
the thick, you have to remember this piece doesn't always have the same thickness. So the thicker area here got up to like 155. The thinner area here, I measured it, got up to like 166. It's all good. It's fully cooked. You can eat it the way it is if you really wanted to. But what I'm going to do is let it cool down, slice some slices, and then fry it up and then taste it because I'm excited. I want to try it like real bacon, like you would eat it. And uh, so, yeah, just got to wait again. See you in a bit. Well, the wait is over, everybody. I've let it cool down enough. And uh, let's cut this bad boy. Oh, wait a bit. Looks beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. Just, we're going to do right in half. I'm showing this camera. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh. I have a big commercial meat slicer. It's down in the basement, but it's big, it's bulky, and I'm not bringing it up. So I'm just going to slice a few slices and then we're gonna fry them up. Oh, look at that. Don't look at the first one. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, look at this stuff. Okay, don't look at that guy. That is beautiful. I'm just gonna lay it out and uh, show you guys. This was a really meaty piece, which uh, which is nice, which is always good. Oh, great color, really doesn't have a smoke ring. It really wasn't in there long enough to to develop that too much. But it's got that typical pink color because we use the sodium nitrite in the salt. Beautiful. Mm. So I'm gonna set up the frying pan right now and get it going. I've got the frying pan on and uh, just gonna let it heat up a little bit. We don't need to add any butter or oil. There's plenty of fat still in the bacon. Hear that sizzle? Okay, that's all I'm gonna get in there for now. Oh God, this smells so good. Mm. Looks so good. Almost done, almost done. Okay, it's done and it looks great. Mmm, damn, that's good. Fantastic, that's awesome. I still think I'm a bigger fan of the uh, cold smoked bacon, but this is just right up there. This is awesome. Uh, not too salty, that's why you have to weigh the salt out. I prefer doing it that way. Fries up nice, looks good, nice and tender. That's an awesome product, you gotta do it. I have to say that turned out awesome, I love it. Yes, you have to wait for it to cure, it takes eight to 10 days, but that's, you get such a fantastic product like this and it doesn't matter if you have a, uh, a traditional offset, uh, a pellet smoker, or anything else like that. If you can smoke in it, you can do hot smoked bacon. The only better thing now is uh, I need to make like a bacon tomato sandwich or something. That's so good. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this one, learned something. Uh, I know I will be doing more of this for sure. It turned out awesome. And it didn't take very long. Two hours and like 40, 45 minutes, it was done and off. And uh, yeah, so you can do quite a bit in a day if you really wanted to. I'm very happy. Well, with that being said, again, thanks for watching and uh, hit that like, subscribe, leave me some comments and uh, 
Happy eating.